The inability to be able to meet in person has led to all sorts of innovations. What has been learned through this process that might help us once social distancing is no longer necessary? What have we most missed about the ability to practice our religions in each other's physical presence? Perhaps we've become aware of gaps we didn't know existed until recent innovations filled them. Might some new practices stand the test of time? What will the new normal look like? So for the first time in recent history, the mu'adhin or the caller to prayer should call on worshippers to perform the ritual prayers or salah at home. What we've done is, is essentially very quickly uh, move to uh, all online uh, meditations every morning, every evening, uh, special programs on Saturdays and Sundays, all day meditation periods. And certainly in the UK, uh, the amount of attendance that most religious communities are seeing in the UK has gone way up. Uh, it's an order of magnitude larger uh, than they were seeing before. I, during the struggles for justice, religion was at the center of life and interfaith. All the faiths came together to serve the community and now to be judged as a non-essential service was a wake up call. But the people that really made the change immediately were the younger members of our Sangha. And Zoom has enabled us in many cases to be more sensitive to those disconnected, to those who were not able to participate in a number of programs. The pandemic has deepened and it has made visible for our eyes clearly to see the many inequalities and fault lines in our society, including those related to access to health, food security, and also internet access. The need to democratize uh, churches um, so that they are not centered around the clergy and that we decenter, democratize our religious spaces, particularly the inclusion of women who are the majority uh, of those that are in, uh, in churches. What have we learned? I mean, this is something we'll, we'll all have to look at.